Hi, Paul Beppard here from Retention Guru. And in this one slide webinar, I want to talk about at-risk members. Now, each month or each year, depending on how you're billing, you will lose a certain proportion of your customers. We refer to that as attrition. What I'm interested in is one of the things that affects attrition and impacts retention as well, is the amount of visits people make each month. Way back in the mid 2000s, my friend and colleague, Dr. Melvin Hillsden, initially did a piece of research that showed that as long as customers came at least once per week, four times per month, then they tended to retain their membership. Now that does fluctuate by operator, but not by very much. And it's a pretty good rule of thumb if you're just getting started in measuring the behavior of your customers, your behavior of your members. So we're interested to see what proportion of the customers are coming at least once per week, twice per week, three times per week, and so on. Uh, just to get a sense of what that looks like within the business. The other group we clearly want to identify are those people who are not coming at all in a one month period. Because some of these members are what we would describe it as at risk. So let's have a look at the, the, the slide and let me take you through it. So as you look at this slide, what you've got is membership usage. Now this is true membership usage from a club. We took a sample of a thousand members. For examples, I like to use simple numbers because it helps people understand what's going on. What you can see here is that 50 members use the club uh, 50 uh, more than three times per week, 50 use the club three times per week, 140 were using the club about two times per week, 320 were only using it once per week, 310 were using the club less than once per week. Now you think, how can you use something less than once per week? If you measure this over a month, and that's our preference, if they're only doing three visits in, in a month, that's less than once per week. And 110 customers did not use their club in this period. Why is that a worry? Because everyone below this orange line is at risk of quitting. They're at risk of quitting. So in this particular business, in this sample of 1,000 customers, you've got 420 customers that are at risk of quitting this month. You'll also have, on top of that, people who are coming to the end of their contract and have decided they'll fulfill their contractual period, but once that's done, they'll also leave. But if I was an operator and I'm looking at these numbers, what would be concerning me is that over 40% of my customers are at risk of quitting next month. Could you afford to lose that volume of customers? Let's assume they did all leave. What would your business look like if 42% of your paying customers stopped paying. So what I would suggest you do is take a sample of your data or take your entire data set and just break it down by these numbers. Try and get a sense of what's going on because the ones you don't really need to worry about are those who are coming three times a week, more than three times a week. You want to try and get those who are just below once per week to up to once per week and if you can the once per week up to twice. So you're not trying to convert everybody to a high visiting member. You're just trying to get this consistency of visit frequency. That's it for this session. I'll see you in the next one.